Hi there. So I'm shooting this around midnight-ish in the transition between 4.724 and 4.824. And I'm shooting this as soon as I could get to a semi-private place after being in a wonderful time with fellow intercessors and seeking the Lord about what his heart is to say to his ecclesia, the church, for the solar eclipse is a message to the nation. However, there is a specific... Um, something on Father's heart for his own, his church, and that, of course, comes through the moon. We know what's happening with the solar eclipse, but the moon and its movement and position amongst the stars also said something specific, and this is what I discern is the message based on many things which I can list later. So this is what I wrote down. I am calling you to be the faithful witness, but your mind is yet set on your own and not mine. You do not see the wider, higher view. I feel the Lord saying, I am the ram and the thicket for you. But what is the thing you must lay down on the altar? What is the thing you hold on and hold most precious? Will you give them over to me and lay them down so I can be that ram, that answer that you seek the thing that will actually release you into the better thing. Hmm. So that ram is your answer and deliverance based on if you can let go of what you hold most precious that God is saying, will you give that to me? Put it on the altar and you'll see what I have for you. It's coming. Will you meet me and let me release what I know needs to be given to you. What your thoughts and your vain imag imaginations are have obscured your view of me, says he. You are out of order. Aries is not the start, but mid, the bridge. Lay down your flesh as you are limiting yourself and you do not perceive the highest truth. So in your obstructed view, you remain in the dark. Your thoughts are contrary to me, and you do not even realize, examine, let me in, Father speaks. Stay not in rebellion, you glorify lesser lights and yourself, so I've given you warning, repent. What will you do if I remain away? You are staying in the dark, proud, rebellious, fear the Lord, is the message, fear the Lord. Now again, this is coming around the midnight hour after hours of intercession in a company of believers seeking with all their heart the fa heart of Father God for Christ to be seen, for His name to be raised, for the Holy Spirit to speak all truth. This is the message. Primarily, what are you to lay down? What is your Isaac to lay down on the altar? For God wants to be the ram in the thicket. This is what the moon's positioning is. The moon has moved into the constellation of Aries on 4-7, the beginning of the night into the day where the solar eclipse, the second sign in the heavens to wake up North America to say so much. The warnings have come. The urgings and invitation are growing more fervent because there are m many, many things he wants his own to prepare for. And he's still calling people to become his own so that he could be the father he has always longed to be for the many who have not received that sonship privilege, daughtership privilege. So this is what I feel the Spirit is leading me to share based on the facts. And the facts are the moon has moved into the constellation of Aries. There is, it's a very sparse constellation. It has one very bright star called Hamal in Arabic that means lamb. In other interpretations, it means sheep. Hamal is 66 light years away from the earth. In our firmament, what we see is Hamal and what that says. And we may not see the full story of what Aries means in light of the identity and personality and timing of Jesus Christ and what he is highlighting to the church. And the church right now is going to obstruct the sun. The sun in its hyperactivity right now will most likely have a very vibrant corona, a ring, a crown around the moon to still highlight there is 
a greater light? Will you see it even though you've obstructed yourself from the highest, purest light? I am still calling you because I am king, says the king of glory, the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is a, a basic synopsis. He is calling his children who identify as his to be a faithful witness for the moon is at 2% illumination. In the little light of truth you have, you still have enough to make a choice to make Jesus Christ the King, to come before Father God in all humility, to fear him with awe and reverence and know that the heavenlies are speaking and it's a grand gesture of love. If we're open and willing to accept that and receive that, there is so, so much good coming. It's all in our choice. But to identify where your heart is, what are you willing to surrender? Will you surrender all for the sweetness that I am to bring? For I have shored up many things. I have things coming for you. But if you're not ready to receive because you haven't emptied out and just identified with Jesus Christ and his priority, you're going to miss out. Father God is so good. He only wants the best. But he leaves it to your own choice and your own discretion, your own will to open up to him. So this is the message from the sun, moon, and stars because Genesis 1, 14, and 15 identifies them as the primary way the heavens speak of Father God, Creator, Elohim, Adonai, everlasting messaging from his purest lights, the Bible and the stars. He's trying to reach your heart through them. Forgive my unconventional, not so lovely place to shoot a message, but this is kind of on the fly and literally um, the best I can do at this time. So I just pray you hear Father's heart uh, and not see all these things, but hear with your heart because that is wisdom. So bless you in the name of Jesus Christ, my King. I'm Jane Justice Park, and I pray that you receive what you need to from this release. Have a wonderful, wonderful new year. This is the beginning, the first day of the Hebraic new year. This is timely. This is a message of the heavens that speak of God's glory. It falls on a significant date in the prophetic biblical new year. So take heed. Goodness is coming for those who are ready. Bye-bye.